What's good, Ken folk? We're back in the lab. We got that aging room, pure receptor. Let's go. <laughs> What's good, Ken folk? It's good to be back in the lab today. And y'all, hey, I don't know if you tried this one yet, but I got that Agent Room Sapa, that Pura Sapa 100% Nicaraguan. And you know how I feel about those Puros. So, wrapper, binder, filler, all Nicaraguan. And, uh, hmm, yeah, it's got a nice little oily body on this bad boy, but it looks really good. It's a pretty stout cigar, pretty solid. Uh, it's got a. <clears throat> Good feel to it. <clears throat> this ain't bad. This ain't, ain't a bad feel to this. Hmm. A nice perfume on the body there. Just good, good tobacco notes on that body. The foot offers about the same. It's got a little bit of musk going on on that foot. But it's aging room, y'all. And I, I don't, you know, I haven't, I smoked some aging rooms, uh, cigars, and I don't, smoke them quite often but this one caught my eye because they work with Placencia a cigar company and built this cigar Placencia is one of my favorite you know manufacturers out there so you know that that says a lot and I'm hoping uh, this blend uh, fares well so we got a we got a Toro this is, is a Toro 6554 uh, strength is full Again, Nicaraguan Habano. Uh, the binder filler is Nicaraguan. Uh, the color is Colorado, and this is hand rolled with long filler. Blender is uh, Placencia and Rafael Nodal. Uh, manufacturers Placencia cigars, right out of uh, Nicaragua. So, y'all, we're gonna get right into this review here. Hang tight. Let me get ready to get set up here and get ready to get it cut and give it a cold draw and uh, get this thing all figured out. Y'all, hang tight. I got my infinity decanter filled with, you know, a little of this and a little of that. We're drinking that today. Pretty smooth stuff I got going on there. My buddy Josh hooked me up with that. Appreciate him for that. Love this gift, man. I've been filling it up. I've been drinking out of it and filling it back up. <laughs> so I'm getting, getting plenty of good use out of it right now. So thank you, Josh. Appreciate you, brother. It's real uh, clean. It's a bit of that barnyard musk on that on that cold drop. Mm. It's kind of dank, just real dank tasting in there. Not like it's you know like a like a wet basement or nothing, but it, it's got some dankness to it. But I'll tell you what, from my knowledge of Angel Room and the ones that I've had, you know, they were pretty full strength uh, cigars. And uh, I believe I had one uh, one time that, that knocked me on my butt uh, sitting on the beach. Man, I had about, I think two cigars. And uh, when I got to that Agent Room, man, that just, shit, it took me out the game. I had to lay down there on that beach for a little bit, <laughs> get the spins to stop. But uh, so we'll see how this one does today. I ate, so I got a full belly right now. So hopefully that'll help me bring me through. So let's get this thing a, a light and see what we got. <coughs> Goddamn. <coughs> Go. Woo. Okay. Yeah, it's got some strong black pepper on this bad boy. Man. Ooh, ooh that made me cough. <coughs> Hey, but this got some nice flavor on this. So, so right now we're getting warm, uh, warm toast, about a medium toast on this, and and the pepper, uh, the pepper is real, real strong on this one. 
I mean, you feel it all over <clears throat> your tongue there, and it's just all in the back of the, the back of the throat, uh, through the nose. It's uh, it's pretty heavy on that pepper. Yeah, I just wanted to offer you guys just a different view right now, and really see the in-depth look at how the cigar looks uh, as far as the banding <clears throat> and the leaf, and just kind of check out how the veins and there's a slight bit of toothiness in this cigar and how oily that Habano wrapper is. It looks really nice, really nice. Solid, solid stick, well built. Got some, some spots on that tobacco right there. Doesn't do anything as far as flavor, but you know, just a visual thing. Burn line, looking really good. And we got a nice ash so far. All right, let's get back to it. Mm. This pure sepa right here. This is um, this is a bold cigar. This is this is just a bold, fuller cigar that um, the experienced uh, cigar smoker uh, will enjoy. I think you know if you're a fan of the Nicaraguan uh, tobacco uh, and the, and those flavor nuances that you get from those reasons, you know you'll you'll be a fan of this. You know this cigar uh, when they built this cigar, they uh, brought different leaves from three different regions of, of Nicaragua. So when you combine the different soils and the, you know the different types of climates in those different areas and bring it to one cigar, you get a complex cigar that will offer you uh, different layers of flavor in your tobacco. And right now, this one is bringing it. This one is bringing it as I smoke this down now uh, into, into this first third here. I'm starting to pick up more layers of wood, uh, that, that leather, that uh, those just those really those more fruitier notes, you know, the berries, there's like a, a berry nuance in this cigar right here. If I would go on a line of like, like a raspberry or something, and that's, you know, okay, when I, and when I say that raspberry, you know, you'll get people, oh, you really taste raspberries in a cigar? No, no, it's just a, when you bite into a raspberry and, and after the flavor profile leaves your mouth, when it's not as strong and you get that residual, you know, that taste, you know, hours later, you know, that's kind of what you get. It's not a full on berry flavor, you know, but it's, it's, it's there and it, and it's, it is coming off quite nice in this cigar. I'm, I'm really enjoying this right now. You know, it's, it, the structure, the ash is just really nice. The, 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 uh, the burn line is really nice and tight, not having to do too much to this cigar at all. It is being real good to me. So I'm enjoying this cigar right now. So I'm going to enjoy this cigar a little bit more. If anything changes as I get down into this first third and second third, I'll come back and update you. Y'all stay tuned. So I was getting down in the second third and you know what happened. My ash fell off, but that is all good. No problem with that. I got a little bit of cone and I was smoking you know, a, little, a little fast. But it's all good. Ash was holding on strong, and it finally fell off. But it's all good. It did it on its own. You can see that burn line is still doing quite well. Uh, let's give you a flavor update. All right, as I was saying, that ash did fall off, but it didn't stop the show. It didn't stop the show, y'all. The show keeps on going. And I, I'll tell you one thing. The flavor profile, it, it, was, it was up and down, so with those toasty bready notes along with the woodsy notes, you know, it, it just went up and down, up and down. The pepper uh, did end up dying off a bit. Um, it wasn't as strong as the black pepper. Uh, went down maybe a, a full of white pepper and you know, it, it, it just died down a bit. But it's, it's a smooth stick. You no, know, it ain't bad at all. You know, if I was at a cigar lounge and I just happened to pick this one up at the first go, I wouldn't have been upset. It would have been a nice session uh, cigar um, for that time. Um, you know, which leads me to say, you know, it's it's an okay cigar. It, it's all right. This cigar retails uh, for thirteen upwards of thirteen dollars uh, for this stick. Uh, now. That's where you say, is it worth it? Is it worth the $13 to spend on this stick? 
is it worth it to have a box of these sticks? That's where you come into play. I don't think I, you know, for me, uh, I have had way better uh, sticks that are in the $13 range. Hell, I had way better sticks that are in the, you know, $10 range. So to me, I think you can safely put this cigar uh, in your, your $8 range and do just fine. People will buy it. I think, you know, $13 is a bit much for this stick. Um, as far as what it's bringing, you know, I like I like the marketing, I like the banding, and like you know the structure. It's a well, it's a well, a well built cigar. So plus on that, but uh, the flavor, man, it just ain't bringing it like it would for 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 a normal thirteen dollar stick uh, in this price range. And the flavor like is it's, it's mellowing out. It, it goes from from up here and it just comes back down. Then you might get a spike back up here and it just goes back down. So it's just all over the place. <laughs> you know, not bad, but man, it's just not it's not bringing anything that's gonna enhance better. It's not it's not keeping me engaged. It, it brings me up and then I'll back down. I, I want to stay up here and then keep elevating, elevate, elevate. But it's just up and down, up and down, up and down with this stick. But more tobacco notes. There was some sugar, sweet, a little, little sweeter profile. Not sweet as in sugar sweet, but that that flavor profile of sugar. You know, it, it just that that tobacco uh, was coming in in the in the first beginning, of that second, third, and just went away as well. So again, not a lot going on with this stick. It, it tastes uh, pretty good. Uh, for a session stick, but again that $13 price tag is what what drives me away from this stick right here So at a box price. Yes, it's a definite no for me. I, I wouldn't buy a box of these um, But if I can find them a little cheaper yet, yeah, I'll I keep a few few in the humidor keep maging a bit You know keep a few on hand. You know, it's all good. It's not a bad stick at all Man, but for that price tag, no, nah, man, this is smoking like an $8 stick for sure. All the way, all the way, all the way, y'all. I'm getting deeper into this second, third, getting ready to take these bands off and whatnot. So, again, if anything changes with this stick, I will come back, update you. That changes, I will see you in the final third of the Pura Sepa by Aging Room. Collab, Placencia Cigars. You know, normally when you buy a cigar that's $13, you're going to expect a lot more of that cigar, right? This cigar is doing the exact opposite. You know, down to this second third, to this final third, man, the flavor is just dying off, man. It's like the flavor's muddied up. It's getting harsh, bitter. It's not good. at all like it's not good no no not anymore no it's it's <clears throat> it now it's smoking like a four dollar stick man yeah i don't i don't know what's going on but uh man it's just it just tastes like shit <laughs> not good at all man yeah for a 13 dollar stick at this price uh, I, I rescind my offer on having a few of these sticks in my humidor because uh, th there's no way I'm gonna pay that much and then have this cigar just fall flat just right in this 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 into the second third. I ain't even to the final third yet. But man, it, this this is ugh. Yeah, no bueno. No bueno, and it's not even a full cigar. It's really, uh, to me, is a medium body, medium body cigar with the, you know, medium, medium to maybe long finish, and and that's it. So, 
as far as uh, complexity is concerned, uh, you're not going to get it with this stick. Now, by all means, if you try this cigar, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you thought about this uh, Pura uh, cigar. Pura Sapa. But yeah, I think I'm going to let this one ride out. But I'll tell you what, here's the deal. I'll smoke this down just a little bit more. If it changes, you'll see an update. If it doesn't, you'll just see my closure, which I'm getting ready to say right now. So, with that being said, <laughs> you know the motto. You be kind to one another and be kindred in the leaf. And until next time, we'll see you with another exclusive kindred, <laughs> kindred leaf review. I don't think it's going to change. Nope. We'll see you next time.